Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel that is Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials and today we are learning about enzymes. So firstly we have to understand that what are enzymes and what is the properties of enzymes. So enzymes are the biological catalyst. What is the catalyst? Catalysts are those kind of chemical compounds which changes the rate of reaction. Either they fast or increase the rate of reaction or they make a reaction slow or decrease the rate of reaction. These are known as catalyst and as as they are working in a biological system there that's why these are known as biological catalyst. So let us study about enzymes. Almost all enzymes are proteins. So what does this particular statement means? Almost all enzymes are protein. Almost means there are some exceptions. For example, some nucleic acid such as as we all know about RNA. In last lecture we have discussed that it has some catalytic properties and if this RNA is working as a catalyst then it is known as ribozyme and that ribozyme is not a protein. So almost all enzymes are protein, not all enzymes are protein. There are a few exceptions for example ribozyme. Since the protein has different kind of conformations such as the linear structure, the linear arrangement of amino acid because the proteins are formed up of amino acid. So the linear structure, simple structure is known as the primary structure. So enzymes are made up of protein mostly. So they also have a primary structure, a secondary structure that is the folding, then folding in this kind of structure and the tertiary structure. In proteins, we have studied that the secondary structure is of two types that is alpha helix and beta pleated. It is in the form of helix and the beta pleated are in the form of sheets. So this is all about the second, secondary structure. Then they form tertiary structure. So what are the tertiary structure? The fold of a particular chain of amino acid fold upon itself or crisscrosses itself. It form crisscross like arrangements. Many crisscross like arrangements to form crevices they form different kind of crevices, pockets or we can say them loops. They form some kind of crevices. For example, let us consider that this is a crevice or a pocket. This particular pocket is known as the active site of that enzyme. And what is the active site? Active site is that site of a particular enzyme is that position of a particular enzyme at which the substrate binds. Substrate is the molecule that has to be catalyzed. Substrates are the reactants that has to be catalyzed. And they bind to the enzyme at specific positions and those specific positions in the tertiary conformation are crevices or pockets which are known as active sites where the substrate binds. So the enzymes also have different kind of conformations like proteins such as primary, secondary, tertiary and so on. Now, the main difference between the inorganic catalyst that we study in, uh, study in chemistry and the biological catalyst that are known as enzymes, the main difference is the inorganic catalyst work at very high temperature and pressure that is very high T and P. Very high temperature and pressure but the enzymes since they are working in biological system and our biological system is truly based upon our temperature. We have a constant body temperature that is we are homothermic, homeothermic. So the enzymes will degrade when we increase the temperature. For example, at 40 degrees Celsius, some of the human enzymes degrade. Okay. So after that, some of the enzymes degrade at higher temperature, but no inorganic catalyst degrade at higher temperature. They work on higher temperature as well as higher pressure. So this is the main difference between inorganic catalyst and enzyme. However, there are many differences, many major differences between inorganic catalyst and the biological catalyst that are enzymes. So one thing that is very interesting, when you will heat the tertiary structure, it will form a secondary structure and when you will heat, it will form a primary structure. But that particular primary structure or the linear arrangement of amino acids will not be degraded. So it is the final position of a particular degradation of enzymes. So 
इफ द क्वेश्चन अराइज इज लाइक विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंफर्मेशन डिज नॉट चेंज विद द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ बॉन्ड्स और द इंक्रीज इन टेम्परेचर सो योर आंसर मस्ट बी द प्राइमरी कंफर्मेशन बिकॉज इट हैज अ लीनियर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ अमीनो एसिड इट विल यू नो जस्ट रिगेन इट्स पोजिशन आफ्टर सम टाइम सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आफ्टर दैट एज वी नोटिस दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द बायोलॉजिकल कैटलिस्ट दैट आर एंजाइम्स डिग्रेड एट हायर टेम्परेचर बट देर आर सम थर्मोफिलिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स थर्मो मीन्स हीट एंड फिलिक मीन्स लव as we know very well about hydrophilic that is water loving and hydrophobic that are water hating this is the similar word philic thermophilic that is heat loving so if there are some heat loving organisms their body must be working on higher temperature such as 80 90 degree celsius so their enzymes would not be degraded even at 80 90 degree celsius this is a very important point and why their enzymes are not degraded because they are already capable of working at that particular temperature because they live on that particular temperature they are heat loving organisms so now let us study some kind of chemical reactions in chemical reactions two type of changes can occur let us take in a simple way let us take it is in a simple way for example if we are taking a particular change what kind of change occur in a particular substrate during a chemical reaction there can be two type of changes that is physical change and chemical change the chemical changes are coming under chemical reaction and the physical changes are change in shape without bond breaking without this word is very important change in shape without bond breaking if this is a particular compound and you has changed its shape this is a physical change and if there is change in state for example you have converted a solid into a liquid a liquid into a gas and vice versa then that type of reactions are also physical changes but chemical changes when bonds are broken and new bonds are formed so let us take example of particular chemical reaction in this particular reaction baoh twice that is the barium hydroxide is reacting with sulfuric acid to form baso4 that is barium sulfate plus two water molecules this is a very simple reaction baoh twice plus h2so4 is forming baso4 plus two water molecules so this kind of reactions are called as chemical reactions and if we'll take another example that is starch which is the polymer of glucose we know very well that many glucose units thousand of glucose units unite together to form starch with the involvement of water so if we break starch in the involvement of water that is hydrolysis we are forming this particular compound in the presence of water this kind of reactions are known as hydrolysis reactions so the starch is getting breaked with the help of water into glucose that is hydrolysis of starch to form glucose this is also a chemical reaction because some bonds are getting breaked so the rate of a particular reaction would be the rate of formation of product in a unit time this would be positive because the amount of product is increasing if you talk it in the terms of reactant it would be minus change in rate of uh, sorry concentration of reactant per unit time because the concentration of reactant is decreasing we have already studied it in chemistry that is chemical kinetics the rate can also be called as velocity when it can be called as velocity it can be called as uh, velocity when there is a particular specified direction a particular specified direction we know that speed that is the rate is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity so if we are talking about the velocity it must have a specific direction so rate can be called as velocity if it has a specific direction so what will happen if we will increase the temperature if we will increase the temperature then the rate would become twice that is two times if we will increase the temperature by 10 degree celsius and vice versa if a reaction is working at 50 degree celsius and the rate is 1 when we will make the temperature 60 degree celsius the probable rate would be 2 and vice versa if a reaction is working at 60 degree celsius and its value is 2 
then if we will decrease temperature by 10 degrees celsius its rate would be half approximately this is a particular statement which is very important from examination point of view and the catalyzed reactions work much faster than the uncatalyzed reaction because the catalyst mostly there are positive catalysts what are what are positive catalyst positive catalyst are those catalysts which increases the rate of a particular reaction and there are a few negative catalysts also but since most of the catalysts are positive catalysts they increases the rate of reaction therefore the rate of catalyzed reaction would be much 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 greater than the uncatalyzed reaction after that let us take example of a reaction that is co2 plus h2o is forming carbonic acid that is h2co3 since this is carbonic acid so the enzyme that is getting involved in this particular reaction will be carbonic anhydrase carbonic you can mark here c and it is present in cytoplasm so cc that is common so you can learn where the carbonic anhydrase is present carbonic anhydrase is present in the cytoplasm of a cell so let us study a very important topic or an important concept many of the students get confused between cytoplasm and cytosol so let us understand some kind of differences cell minus nucleus is cytoplasm cytoplasm is the cell minus nucleus since this is cell this is nucleus this is various kind of organelles and this is the solution which is present in cell so if we will remove this nucleus from this particular cell it will form the cytoplasm but when we subtract organelles organelles from the cytoplasm this particular solution that is remained is known as cytosol this is very important this is not in the particular topic but i have told you because we are using this particular term that is cytoplasm so we have talked about this reaction that carbon dioxide and water are forming carbon uh, sorry carbonic acid so what is the rate of this particular reaction without the involvement of enzyme without enzyme there are 200 molecules of h2co3 formed in 1 hour in 1 hour there are only 200 molecules of h2co3 are formed but with enzyme in 1 second which is very much less than 1 hour 6 lakh molecules of h2co3 are formed so the rate increases by 10 million times that is 1 crore time faster the reaction is 1 crore time faster when we are using a particular enzyme that is carbonic anhydrase so we can realize the fact that what is the importance of these kind of enzymes in those particular reaction the digestion of food will take approximately 45 to 50 years to digest without using enzymes so you can easily you know notice what is the role of different kind of enzymes in your body you are nothing without those enzymes and most of the enzymes are proteins so we should be thankful to all the proteins present in our body because they are giving us so much we can't even realize that what is the role of all the proteins present in our body so let's move further what are metabolic reactions or metabolic pathways when same enzyme complex when enzyme complex which are same mean same kind of enzymes or different enzymes or various enzymes catalyzing a multi step chemical reaction a multi step chemical series a multiple chemical cascade then that particular pathway is known as the metabolic pathway and different reactions taking place in that metabolic pathway are called metabolic reactions for example if we will take example of glycolysis it is a 10 step reaction we will study it in respiration of plants in plant physiology the glycolysis that is glyco lysis the lysis of that is the breaking of glucose so the glucose will break in the presence of oxygen that is aerobic this is aerobic reaction in aerobic conditions because the involvement of oxygen is needed so the glucose in the presence of oxygen or in aerobic condition form pyruvic acids and water since glucose is a six carbon compound and pyruvic acid is a three carbon compound so 
the glucose will be converted into two molecules of pyruvic acid plus water molecules. In different kind of conditions and in different kind of organisms, due to different situations, the same substrate get converted into different kind of products. Let us study how. For example, the glucose in the presence of oxygen form two pyruvic acid plus H2O. That particular substrate that is glucose itself is converting into lactic acid in our skeletal muscles lactic acid by which we feel tired when we do a lot of exercise so that particular acid that is lactic acid is formed by the glucose in our skeletal muscles in the absence of oxygen because this is an anaerobic reaction so the glucose is forming pyruvic acid and h2o in the presence of oxygen or aerobic reaction aerobic environment and that particular glucose is forming lactic acid and skeletal muscles in anaerobic conditions and that particular glucose is forming alcohol or ethanol ethanol is a two carbon alcohol myth it so by convention it is two carbon alcohol in yeast that is single cellular in yeast organism called yeast the glucose is converted into alcohol or ethanol by a process known as fermentation so you can easily understand that a single substrate can be converted into different kind of products by the involvement of different kind of enzymes or due to different kind of conditions present so this is a bit about enzyme i hope that this particular video is going to help you a lot in your examination Thank you so much guys for watching this video and if you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again for watching this video guys.